Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. I'm Cecil, and you're who? That's right, and I'm Amanda. We are out here for the 72nd annual Robeson County Agricultural Fair right here in Lumberton. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day, and I'll tell you, they open up today at uh, 4... 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. They open That's up right. at 5 o'clock. And some interesting we want to tell them, too, right. about kids. We need to tell them about the kids now. All school kids get in free today. That's right. Through and the, tomorrow. So through the gate today um, and tomorrow, they get in free, and you get $2 off of your ride wristband. So a great deal, great thing for kids to be able to come out and do. We know school's been out and all that stuff, and this is their way of giving back. All right. First, yeah. you know what we've got to do? What we got to do? we got to find out what the weather is going to do hey, this weekend. It's beautiful weekend. here. That's right. Let's check it out. All right, Cecil and Amanda, have fun out there. Right now, we're dealing with the sunny skies across portions of our Dunes Reality Garden City camera. Yes, that little bit of haze, it's actually the sea breeze attempting to roll on shore causing a little bit of sea spray, if you will. Uh, but temperatures are nice and warm. We're in the 80s, but notice the feels like temperature 86 in North Myrtle, 87 in Myrtle Beach, despite temperatures of only 83 degrees. 86 is what it feels like down there in Carolina Forest and out in Florence as well. 82 in Hartsville and out there in Lumberton. Yeah, it's feeling like 84 by far. Nothing that's going to make you go. Whoa, this is too hot. But that changes this week. You see, right now we've got the winds coming out of the east and the northeast. But by tomorrow, those winds will shift out of the south and that will infect or bring in even warmer temperatures. Right now, no winds above uh, what? Five, six, seven, eight miles an hour. So overall, you're not going to get a lot of relief from the heat if you are hot out there from the wind. We've got that area of high pressure, and that also brings dry air. It also forces the jet stream farther north. That means all of these areas of low pressure, all these storm systems riding the ridge rather far north and avoiding our area, and we just stay rather dry, hot, and at times a little humid. For the rest of the day, our future cast shows that sea breeze continues to work its way on shore. Yes, it does show a few showers. I'm not buying it yet. Uh, it did the same thing yesterday. We actually never saw any shower activity form. I believe we will see some mostly sunny skies few cumulus clouds forming along there uh, along the Grand Strand, but otherwise sunny skies inland and I'm just not buying any of that rain. Uh, temperatures falling back into the 70s by the 8 o'clock hour and then as we head into overnight the temps drop back into the 60s still about four to five degrees above average over all a very beautiful day. There's that easterly flow working its way on shore. Again, the precursor to the southerly flow, which takes over on our Wednesday and continues into the weekend. And that's why you see that rise in temperatures, not only for your daytime highs, but even your overnight lows, a normal low of 62. Forget that. We're talking 74 on Saturday morning. Inland locations, you should be around 59. We'll be in the 70s through next week. Cecil and Amanda. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We are live on location right here at the 72nd Annual Robeson County Agricultural Fair. We're up here in Lumberton, and I'm telling you, what a fun day and a fun experience. That's right. We're talking about almost 40 rides along the uh, fairway right here, plus right. games and food and everything. Alan Faircloth, the president, is with us now to talk a little bit about it. Tell us about this year. It was a little rough starting off this year for y'all. Cecil, Amanda, both of you, welcome so much to the Robinson County Fair. We had a little little slow start, but uh, the smiles on the people's face we saw, that, that wiped all the misery away. And that's one of the reasons uh, we had discussion about opening up. You know, the public schools are not back in session yet. Uh, they had asked us uh, if we would uh, not to use special needs day because it couldn't provide transportation for the children. So what we decided to do instead 
uh, all day today, all day tomorrow, all children from all counties will be admitted free. No, no gate admission whatsoever. And our Carnival, Big Rock Amusements, they have volunteered and donated $2 off per band. So we're real excited about that and we're wanting to send the message that, hey, we're all neighbors, we're all partners. Uh, we want to give back and this is our way of giving back. We are really looking for big days because the schools had requested that we not have those days and due to due to uh, communication with them and meeting with them. But well, yeah. we're off that's to a good day. Well, and, and, oh, well, and that's the thing. You guys are still able to give back because I know that's so important to you as part of this it, fair. It, it really is. And, of course, we've still got senior citizens uh, uh, tomorrow because they have transportation. Uh, we'll still be doing that. All the events that we can possibly have, we've kept right on the schedule. We've, we've not canceled anything uh, that we could possibly do and without consultation with those affected. So we're excited about it and just seeing the smiles, what makes it worth it all. That does. All right, you got almost 40 rides here. Something, anything new this year? Uh, yes, we do have a couple of new rides. Uh, Big Rock was able to bring in. Uh, unfortunately, we have one ride uh, that we were waiting on the piece from Czechoslovakia just show the, <laughs> the range uh, of our equipment. But, yes, there are a couple of new rides here, and I've seen people, uh, I don't know of a nice way to put this, but uh, sometimes they throw up when the ride is too good. <laughs> that's <laughs> so a be, good ride. So that's be a, prepared that's and, the, and that's eat. That's the mark of a good ride. That's right, and eat your fair food after that's right. Right on the rides. How about that? Now we got absolutely. a lot of we got a lot of more stuff coming up. Yeah, uh, we do. We absolutely. Wrapping this one up. That's okay, right. Wrapping seconds. this because guess talk? what's yeah. coming up? There's yeah. he's, he's hopping into our interview. Yeah, we're in just hop a second. into it. You got that right. Coming up next, we're going to see a kangaroo from the petting zoo. That's right. He's really All right. cute. All Thanks, right, Alan. we'll Appreciate be right back. It. Hey everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Look at this, we have got a baby kangaroo. His name is Cruz and he's a little camera shy, so you're gonna have yeah. to bear with us a yeah. little bit about that. Russell, Woo! Whoa, <laughs> he's trying to jump out of there. We've got Russell with us now. He's wanting to go, he's wanting to go somewhere. That's okay. Yeah, he's wanting to go back and get in, yeah, to to get in the cage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, you want, he, he won't get away, will he? Yeah, we'll right you got him, okay, yeah, we're gonna hold him. All right, tell us a little bit, of how old is uh, this uh, Cruz? Cruz is, is one year old, he's yeah. a red kangaroo. He'll reach heights to around five to six feet. He can run up to 35 miles an hour and leap over 25 feet in distance. So in other night. words, if he gets away, you're not going to catch him? Well, I'm going to catch him. I have a lot in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's talk a little bit about the petting zoo. Yeah, we got all, all kind of zoo. animals in the petting zoo. We have animals from all around the world. We got um, right. Pantagonian cavies. We yeah. got Cotamundis. We got exotic birds. All kind of things in there. Sheep. Well, that's pretty good. Now, you had a big kangaroo last year, We did. It? We did. We did. We um, got rid of him. He, he had got aggressive, and um, so we had to put him out in the pasture, and he stays out there, and all he does is hang out now. Just hang out now. You know what? He's probably pretty right. happy out there. Well, I, I like Cruz. Cruz is so cool. I mean, he's just hanging out now. He yeah, didn't want to... It's kind of funny about Cruz. Our kids yeah. wanted to go on a cruise last year, and my wife decided to buy a kangaroo instead, so we named him Cruz. <laughs> so you named him Cruz. That's pretty good. That's all right, fantastic. now, the zoo is open. All these kids can come in. Now, they can touch these yeah. animals. Some Every animal in there you can feed. Every animal. We even have baby pigs in there with the Patagonian cavies. We have ponies in there. We have llamas, right. um, bar black belly Barbados sheep. We have all kinds of exotic goats. There's over 53 animals in there. All so, right, now I have a question. People are going to see this and see you holding this kangaroo by his tail. This is how you steer him. It is. He's okay, it is. right? It is. Yeah, it does he's not hurt him. No, it, it doesn't does hurt him. No, you couldn't control him if you didn't hold him by his tail. That's the way he, he feels more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, he's about to knock and, me down. And what he wants to do now, he likes to get in a pouch. He likes oh, he to turn uh -huh. upside down. And turn upside like down. Inside of a pouch like that. It's oh, a comfort for him. He feels comfortable, him. yeah. 
Yeah. And but a kangaroo, when he's born, they have, they start a journey from the day they're born. They crawl that when they're born, they're the size of a butter bean. They crawl out of their mother, into the pouch, and attach to her tit, and um, and they stay there for six months before they come out. Wow. They're the size of a butter bean. Wow. A he butter bean. Getting excited. I, I know he is getting excited. <laughs> he's getting. He's waiting for all the kids to come in today at five o'clock. You get to come into the petting zoo. And you can hand feed Cruz. And Cruz had a, uh, got a buddy in there. You can hand feed him too. So What's his name? Baby kangaroo. His little joy. <laughs> little joy. How right, appropriate. Now, are, now what, what do you find these kangaroos? What we have a friend from? in Tennessee that raises kangaroos, oh, and that's okay. where we get them from. Yep. All mm -hmm. right, fantastic. Now, he has over probably 300 kangaroos, male and female, okay. and they run in about 200 acres. And it's amazing just to watch them run. And you've got <laughs> and you've got that space when they're not here, obviously, oh, and you yeah. let them run, He's and they do all kinds of stuff. He's got about 10 acres to run in at home. That's awesome. Well, Cruz, thank you for being on the show with us. We do appreciate First all the kids First TV appearance, appearance, and he's yep. a little nervous, but that's what okay. What did you say? Okay. Cruz. Yeah. Bye bye. He said, <laughs> said bye bye. Okay. All right. All right. Just, Thanks a lot, Russ. Right. Stay with right. Don't go anywhere. All right. Uh, just another perk of coming out and seeing the petting zoo. Bring the kids out, you know, and, and yeah. have a great time. It exposes them a little bit to animals. They can feed them, and all the kids really That's love it. That's the neat it. part. They get yeah. to feed the animals. The kids love yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Get to see the petting zoo. we got a lot more coming up. All Stay right. Stay with us. We'll be back. That's right. Good job, Cruz. <laughs> <laughs>
slip from a straw. All right. Well, you got tell oh. us a little story. You got a little story about butterflies. Well, uh, f there's about 10,000 species, but we mainly help with monarch migration. Uh, for the Department of Agriculture, it's really important for our farmers to have pollinization uh, with their crops. Sure. So we go to different events, uh, explain about monarchs, and also do a release. I did a release yesterday. I'll do a release at the end of the fair. What's the importance of that is this. Um, they'll pollinate each time they go to a flower, yeah. and so that helps the crop grow. But mainly, monarch butterflies are the only migrating butterfly species out of 10,000 species, and here in the U.S., we're able to enjoy it. You have the first three generations in the early spring uh, that are heading north to North Canada, live about 30 days. The fourth generation is the one that migrates from North Canada, crosses over the Great Lakes, almost like the top of a tree, and you think of the trunk uh, of the tree, uh, Austin, Texas. They go right through Austin, Texas, right into Mexico. So what's amazing about those creatures is the fourth generation is nine months long that it lives. Uh, it travels 2,000 miles in about, uh, in about three months. But they're going to the exact same tree in that forest that the original generation started, and they've that? never been there before. Wow. wow. So they're not like, amazing. Yeah, they're not like migrating birds. So you'll have anywhere from 100 to 150 million that just... Instinctively, instinctively, just decide to go. 150 yeah. million. Yes, 150 yeah. million. Wow. Well, how, long, how long you been into the butterfly business? Uh, I've been doing this now for about five to seven years. Um, it's my friend Jason Laurie and Debbie Laurie uh, are the ones that started this, and I went along with them. I enjoy very much uh, interacting with the people and, and interacting with uh, patrons at different events. The kids love it, and for me, it's come and feed bat butterflies, and more importantly, uh, families that play together stay together, and this is the best way to play. That is wow. the best way to do it. All right, these little sticks that we have, these, this is what, he's still got one, he's got one on there, look at there. Yeah, and that There's is a, a butterfly. painted lady. That is that's a what painted, kind? painted lady butterfly. All right. Yes, it is. Some of the other ones you see up there, the ones that They're people most over. commonly see, the monarchs, what are some of the other species that, you know, with the little yellow ones, what are they? Well, you, you, you have the yellow uh, Roy uh, butterfly, you have uh, painted ladies. Uh, here in your state, you have the blue and black swallowtail, uh, which I believe is your state butterfly. So um, there's many different varieties. You have no invasive species. Um, if you go to a conservatory, uh, you'll see a lot of butterflies from around the world, but we, here in the U.S., we're the only ones that see the intercontinental migration, and wow. that's a great thing. That is amazing. I can't believe they travel that far. That's, yes, they do. Man, they that certainly do. 2,000 miles in yeah. about three months. In about three months. Wow. And, and, and they'll, they'll go over the uh, stream, the wind stream that comes over the uh, Great Lakes yeah. and glide like a kite and wow. just go right over it. Look, yep. you know what's funny? Right. I can actually we see the little straw you. thing yeah. that comes down. He's you going can see down. It. He's eating right now. You can see he's going down in there and doing that little, little butterfly. That's, That's right. exactly what that is. All, All right, when you, when you come out, you got to check out the butterfly tent. Come in and play with the butterflies, feed them and everything. David, thank you for being here, buddy. Thank you very much. All I right. appreciate very, it. Very, appreciate very interesting. It. All right. I love it. All right, what you doing? I'll just give him to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Um, yeah, we're chickens. right here. Chickens, chickens. I hear these chickens. What yeah, in gobble. the world is going hey, on? Tammy is coming up. Tammy's coming around right here. She had here. to go settle them down yeah. in the Tammy back for to... just a... <laughs> now, these are funny chickens. Come They're on called, in. There it's she called is. the Barnyard Cackle Review yes, Chickens, it right? Is. It certainly is. We've now, got what? singing chickens for See, you. They're singing. They do jokes, too. They do jokes, too. Now, how long have you been doing this? Well, it's a one-of-a-kind show we designed in 2011. And we bring it to county and state fairs. We're going to be in Columbia at the state fair. Okay. And we're thrilled to be here in Lumberton this week. Well, that is great. Now, this is so cool. They tell jokes. Look All at, right, let's do another one, joke. Here we go. Back. Here we got another one. Here it comes. Which one's going to tell me a joke? Oh. Why did the cow cross the road? Well, I don't know. Why did the cow cross the road? Go to the <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, so those are something I, can, else, I can imagine the kids probably love this. They do this. love this, I'm sure. Well, you know, that's a misnomer. The adults love it. The kids like pressing the button. That's the interactive part. Right. And the adults get the joke. Oh. So it's a win-win. It's a family entertainment at its best. All right, now you say you travel around and you've been doing this for how long again? About seven years, About eight seven, years. Seven yeah. years. So you and the chickens, you travel around wherever, you know, different fairs and stuff like yes, that. Yes, we do. From the Northeast, we've been out to the Midwest. We've been to Florida. They've been to Texas. Wow. They've been to Las Vegas, Traveling baby. Traveling chickens. Wow. Right now, the cool thing about this, she designed all of this. Did Didn't you really? Yes. This is a one-of-a-kind unit, and... Um, it's how, that's it. How long did that take you to design? Well, the I or actually, the idea. Well, it was about three years. Okay. I started in 2008, and I saw the actual chickens at a trade show, and I kept saying this would be great for county fairs. Yeah. <laughs> and a friend of mine, actually from South Carolina, said, "Will you just please put it together and get it out there?" So in 2011, I did. You wow. Put it out there, okay? We you put it out there. You've been having yeah. fun and successful Cobble, ever since. Cobble, they keep yeah. telling jokes. Here oh, we yeah. go. Here's another one. Here's another one. I don't know. Talk, Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. All right, now, you said you had some music. <laughs> That you're gonna get yep. them ready for some music. So why don't you go head back there yeah, and do I that? Can just push a button. Hit the button. Let's do it. Let it go. Right, Let's hear it. Let's some We're gonna let these chickens. Here we got chicken music coming up. All righty, here All we right, go. Let's, Let's hear them. Let's move over here. Come on, we can see the chicken music. Here we go. It takes a minute to get started here. The music has to play, and then the chickens will start rocking and rolling. All right. Oh, all right. We got, we're not going to have time to see them get ready. Hey, but that means you need to come <laughs> out to the fair, and you get to see them live yeah. and in action. We'll be back in just we'll a few minutes. We'll be back. Stay with us. Come on. right here where we can get to them you can kind of got them okay i can hold start off with these when we okay. start off i'll be holding one here you hold one
Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. What are you doing? I'm playing this little instrument That's right. that Cobo brought me. All right, We're going to find out about it. Let's find out about this. For what in the world is this? This is Mountain Man's Music homemade guitar. Right. He had an accident. Well, he didn't have an accident. His mother passed away yesterday, so he had to leave here. Right. But he knew he was scheduled to be on the show. He wanted to make sure that you got one of the homemade guitars. Wow. And here they are. He had to go home because of his mother's funeral. Right. But he made these and handed them out to the kids, and it's got our fair logo on it. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, great show he had. Awesome. Well, that's pretty neat. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about the fair because this year, I mean, it gets bigger every year, but, of course, we had some problems at the first of the year. But we're going good now. We are. But, you know, a lot of people lost a lot of things. We've tried to accommodate that. We weren't able to open on Thursday, so we missed Thursday and Friday. We opened on Saturday. But, Cecil, we've done some things that the people really do like. We've had uh, Sunday was Univision Family Day. The people got in free for the first hour. Uh, we have Senior Citizens Day coming up uh, tomorrow. Uh, all the seniors get in free. So there's opportunity for them. Number one, kids get in free today and tomorrow without any pass. We couldn't get the passes to the schools. Dr. David Allen, Allen Orthopedics, was so kind to sponsor that. Awesome. So children just yeah. get in free tomorrow. They, and today. And today. That's Two right. Days Two days, today and tomorrow. That's, that's and, you amazing. know, we've got so much going on out here. It's just been fabulous. But, you know, even if you don't have a – and, and can day. Let me mention can day on yeah. Thursday. Okay. It's so important that they bring five cans of food, they can get in for free. We need that canned food to go in the food pantry here okay. right. because of the hurricane. People need that more than ever. So if you bring unperishable canned food Thursday – five cans you get into the fair free kids get in free tuesday and wednesday bring cans for thursday hey beach, hey. Mu beach music night is tomorrow night who's here oh, we got we, we it's a surprise a surprise you got to look on the web page oh go to the web Robes page. robinson robinson county fair.com all right go there well, we, well i'm sure we got the number one of the number one beach music bands we got the dance floor out so, so the you shaggers, can dance? The shaggers can come and dance. We got something for everybody. <laughs> Cecil, oh, it's great having you and Amanda back. It's good to be here. And you had something you wanted to hand us yep. something, didn't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. This, right, this, is, this is a little cooler. Thank you. Yeah. You can put your Pepsis in that. Or right. okay. All right. We gotta Guess go. what we got to do? We're out of time. Hey. We got to go. We'll be, right, we'll be back. Stay with us. We won't be back. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.